Today, I'm going over Tortoise TTS, which is a text-to-speech software that is pretty dang impressive, and personally, I prefer it over Eleven Labs. So let's go ahead and jump into some audio samples to see why I think this. And to do that, first, we're going to go over the actual audio, and then I'm going to overlay the text-to-speech audio over it. So for this, I used Elden Ring um, because I Elden Ring is the most recent game that I played and the characters have phenomenal voice acting so we're gonna go ahead and overlay some of that. Um, first is going to be the actual audio sample then the tortoise text to speech audio sample and we'll see how it compares. Traveler from beyond the fog, I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the finger maidens? Traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? So, what did you think? I personally think it's pretty fantastic, and of course in the original audio there are some parts of the intonation that are just much, much better and sound way more natural. Um, as you can tell, the audio is Tortoise TTS, however, it is really good in my opinion. So now that we've compared it to Ground Zero, the original audio, let's go ahead and compare it to Eleven Labs. And that's what I have here, I have a bunch of samples with Eleven Labs and then the Tortoise TTS generation, so EL stands for Eleven Labs, and these are the um, Tortoise Tortoise, twi tortoise TTS generations. What I'm going to do is play each one of them one by one, and you be the judge of which one sounds better. Traveler from Beyond the Fog. Traveler from Beyond the Fog. I am Melina. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? So you be the judge there. I use the exact same inference samples in Eleven Labs as I did for my Tortoise TTS. The only thing unfortunately about Eleven Labs is you can't train the base model or fine tune it in any way. You can only give it audio samples to inference off of, which is why I think Tortoise TTS can get much closer to the original voice than Eleven Labs. Eleven Labs is a little bit more crisp, as you can hear in the audio. Traveler from Beyond the Fog. However, Tortoise TTS gets the intonation and overall replicates the feel of the voice much better. And you can even do funny things like this. I offer you a Honda Accord. So how does this work? Well, it is a GitHub repository. Well, not necessarily GitHub. It is a git.ecker, which is based off of Git, I believe. Um, And it is different than the Tortoise DTS released by Neon BJB or yeah and this one allows for voice training so here I already have it all set up um, today's not going to be a setup tutorial unfortunately so uh, that will be for later but here I already have it all booted up by running the start.bat go ahead head on over to edge we'll go ahead and open up 127 um, ending in 7860 which is going to be this Tortoise TTS Gradio page. So here we have it. And so there are a bunch of different tabs here. You've got to generate, history, utilities, training, and settings. So training, you can train everything here where you prepare, generate, and then run the training. And then inside of settings, um, you can have the, you can change which model you want to use based on ones that you have trained. So here we have Mel, which is Melina. And if we go into generate, um, I have a voice here for Mel and I go ahead and refresh it. And let's just go ahead and generate a sentence. So um, so here we have some audio from The Great Gatsby and we're going to go ahead and just copy over this sentence here and throw it into our Gradio page uh, where we're going to have Melina generate the voice. So um, here are a bunch of settings. I've gone ahead and done two for samples and 32 for iterations, which basically means it's going to be a fast generation. but. Since I trained a model, it's going to still be relatively good. And what I found out is inside of experimental settings is if you adjust some things like length penalty and repetition penalty, it actually helps out with the audio voice to be a little bit more uh, succinct and less um, AI sounding. So here we go. Let's go ahead and listen to the first generation here. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. So that was pretty good. It messed up on since. It kind of said sin at the end. Um, and so, you know, this one, you can just continue generating audio samples. Of course, you probably need a decent GPU. So anything 30 series or above, um, I think even 2080 and maybe like 1080 will get you um, able, will allow you to use this. But I don't know about training. Um, 
And that is just one voice that I have here that I trained on Melina's voice. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the others that I've done. So inside of settings, let's go ahead and let's do Godfrey. So here is a Godfrey one from also from Elden Ring. And let's go ahead and generate a generation for this. So I'm going to go ahead and click generate. And I just made it a little bit smaller so that I can see all of the page. So here we go. Let's go ahead and play this. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. And so if you can hear that raspiness in there and you know the Elden Ring character, that is pretty accurate. Um, and as well, I only trained this on two minutes of audio. So that was pretty wild um, that I trained that on less than, you know, 10 minutes of audio and still got something that's pretty decent. Let's go ahead and head over to one, uh, a couple more. We got Gideon, so let's go ahead and do Gideon. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. And that sounds like Gideon. Um, the audio that I was trained on, it has a little bit of reverb in the background, which is why it kind of sounds robotic. But all these models, if you train them on very clean audio, you will get a very clean voice. Here, let's go ahead and take an example of Eno, which is um, another model that I have trained. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. So as you can see, that voice is a more cleaner version of a girl's voice, um, whereas the other ones were a little bit uh, a little bit lower, a little bit more, I guess you could say medieval, because of course they're from Elden Ring, which is a fantasy um, world. And, and so there you have it. That is Tortoise TTS and some voices that I've trained. As I said, I'm not showing how to go over and do the training yet. Um, that'll be reserved for a later video um, but I do want to share some projects that I've created and used for this tortoise uh, TTS voice with two AIs talking to each other all right and so here I have it I have two tortoise TTS engines running and then I've got this one which is running the local LLM so we're gonna go ahead and run it and I'll go ahead and just show you how it's running so it's gonna go ahead and run and then create some dialogue down here. Let's just go ahead and give a listen to the conversation between the AIs. Yes, we had our share of struggles in our time as rivals, but in the end, it's just a game of chess. It's not as bloody or brutal as it once was, and those who don't play it won't win. It's just a matter of sometimes coming out on top and finding new ways to strengthen our rivalry. Gideon, I agree. It's just a matter of adapting and staying ahead. We may have adjusted to the game of chess, but it doesn't change the fact that the competition is fierce. Do that. So that is my most recent project that I've worked on, having two LLMs talking to each other with the TTS voice, and that was pretty cool. Another one that I've worked on is incorporating into Vivi for my AI streamer. So that's all on YouTube. So you can go take a look at that. And then the other one that I did was an, an AI audiobook voice narrator. And that one I streamed on YouTube. But let's go ahead and take a look at that one. And that's going to be the last one for this video. So here we have it. We have two things. We have an audiobook maker. So you can make your own audiobook. And then we have an audiobook narrator that just narrates audio inside of a text file. So here's the text that I have here. It is The Great Gatsby. And and here is the narration so we'll go ahead and run narration first and see how that goes and here inside of the tort.yaml we have the voice we're going to use which is going to be mel for this case so let's just go ahead and oop, let me turn this down as well to 32 so that it generates pretty quick so narration let's go ahead and run that and let's just go ahead and hear the narration in my younger and more vulnerable years my father gave me some advice that i've been turning over in my mind ever since Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. Okay, so there you have it, The Great Gatsby with, with Melina. And let's go ahead and do audiobook app maker. So we're actually gonna do this with, let's go ahead and change it to Gideon. I had save that and run this audiobook maker. And here is a, here is a window that pops up that allows me to make an audiobook. So I'm going to go ahead and load sentences inside of this text file are the sentences. So I just go ahead and load this. And then here I can adjust how long of a pause I want between each sentence. Uh, let's just go ahead and do a uh, 0.5 second pause between each sentence. And then I'm going to go ahead and play the first um, sentence to generate a response. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my 
my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. If I like it, we're going to go ahead and add that to audiobook. So let's click that and then we'll go ahead and generate the next sentence by clicking play. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. So awesome. We've got two sentences and we're going to go ahead and add that to the audiobook. And we'll go ahead and take a look in our files. And now we have a... Um, a fully concatenated audio file with those sentences. So let's go ahead and give it a listen to the 20 seconds. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. So there we go. I'm not going to go over all of the functionality that I coded into it in this video, but that is an example of a narrator that I made and then an audiobook maker that I've made. And I kind of cheated because I already had these coded up. So it was simply just plug and play to swap out the text to speech voice generator. So that is all I wanted to go over in today's video. Tortoise TTS has been my most recent excitement because it is so good um, compared to other TTS uh, other TTSs out there and yeah it's pretty exciting pretty crazy pretty spooky um, all of the above and that's gonna be today's video hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you again for a future video